Thanks to everyone for making my previous video on the free Ozone EQ a real hit. Go check it out if you haven't already. And thanks for all the great comments. I'm really near my goal of 5,000 subscribers, so please subscribe. Today, I'll look at the deceptively simple Ozone Clarity module and compare it to the industry standard Oak Sound Soothe 2, and also Ozone's other spectral correction plugin, Stabilizer. Which one is best? I'll let you know at the end of the video. But first, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And use my affiliate link below at Plugin Boutique to grab their crazy deals. What is Ozone Clarity? Basically, it splits your signal into 256 spectral bands, then uses flat noise as a reference to adjust the bands towards a perfect signal, essentially taming resonances and clashing frequencies so you can unmask content in your mixes. I'll explain the noise references more in a minute. Using Clarity is really simple. You can just insert it and turn up the amount button and you'll immediately see the spectral bands doing their thing. Right away we can see that it's doing a lot of subtractive EQ in the low mids and adding more in the high end. Like many other spectral EQs like this, I find it tends to brighten the sound. There are two ways of adjusting the brightness of darkness of the signal. The first way is to use this slider to adjust the range of processing. If I move this to the left, no processing is happening after this line. The same thing is true for the low end slider here. But note, the processing only goes as low as 300 Hz. Isotope seems to be definitely saying that clarity is only for the typical problem areas of the low mids. But oddly, processing still goes all the way up to 20 kHz, so I guess they're saying high end is allowed, but not low end? What if you have a problem around 200 Hz? I find this limitation curious. But hey, 300 Hz is where a lot of problems lay and could be effective for most mixes. Another way you can adjust the brightness is with the tilt slider. In the middle default position, the spectrum is referencing pink noise, which is a mix of white and brown noise. So kind of a perfect mid-range. If you move the slider up, the reference shifts towards white noise or a brighter signal. And if you move the slider down, it moves towards brown noise, which makes for a darker signal. This could be great for an overly bright mix or to tame the sibilant symbols you get with a lot of these spectral correctors. This is really powerful for shaping the sound of your overall mix and is a powerful tool for mastering. With just a few moves, you can brighten or darken your mix while still cleaning up clashing frequencies. Another important section here is the attack and release settings. Basically, this controls how quickly Clarity reacts to the signal. Longer attack times will let more of the original signal through, and longer release times will keep the processing on longer. You can see this reflected in the spectral display. When I increase the attack times, the animation moves more slowly. But if you push it too far, the processing can sound unnatural. I find it sounds best to the default 100, between 100 and 300. and the attack between 50 to 100. After that, there really isn't much left to discuss about this plugin, apart from Ozone's gain matching feature, which corrects for any change in volume from Clarity's EQing. It's a great feature to have, although I find Clarity doesn't really increase the gain very much on its own, since it's balancing the signal anyway. So how does this hold up against Soothe 2?
I think the biggest difference to point out here is that Soothe is purely subtractive EQ. Soothe 2 will reduce what it detects as unbalanced frequencies and phase, but you can't tell it to boost frequencies. So if you're looking to make your signal brighter by adding information, Soothe wouldn't be your first choice. Mind you, if you reduce some of the mud in your mix, it will tend to sound brighter, or at least clearer, so keep that in mind. So yeah, clarity makes the signal much brighter, whereas Soothe 2 is more subtle, as always. If we want a full spectrum corrector, then there is another option in Ozone that we can turn to. Ozone Stabilizer is similar to Clarity, but as I understand it, Stabilizer is an adaptive EQ, in the style of Smart EQ and Gulf Boss, that dynamically plots the EQ nodes to correct the input signal, whereas Clarity is an FFT EQ, breaking up the signal into spectral bins. But they do similar things, and Stabilizer offers EQ correction over the whole frequency range. sound pretty similar. The cool thing about Stabilizer is you can switch to make EQ cuts only, which is great. It doesn't seem to do much on this track though. I suspect Stabilizer is geared more towards adding than subtracting. You can also use the low, mid, and high amount sliders to adjust the response. If stabilizer is too bright, then you can lower this all the way down to zero if you want, and no processing is in that range at all. So I'd say that stabilizer is great for adjusting the overall spectrum of your mix, especially if you want some content added back in, like in a dull mix. Clarity is great for getting rid of mud and boxiness, and is super easy to use. Its response is more similar to Soothe 2, since they operate from a similar FFT bin foundation. And you can indeed get some clarity in your mix with this plugin. I find myself wishing it extended lower into the bass range, but I respect that it's confidently set to work in a specific range. And if you have ozone, you can reach for stabilizer if you want a full spectrum response. As always, if you have the money, Soothe 2 is excellent, but I think for most mixers and producers who need a quick fix for mixes and instruments, Ozone 11 is a great choice. For less than Soothe 2, you get the full spectrum stabilizer plugin in Ozone 11 standard, plus a lot of other great tools. And for around the same overall price as Soothe 2, you can get the entire Ozone 11 advanced suite, which has clarity, stabilizer, and the full mastering suite. If you're interested, use my plugin boutique links above to get Ozone. They're on sale for 25 to 30% off as of this writing. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the deals in my links below. Until next time, mix well.